Ah, I remember the first time I went to the gym. Coming in with all the confidence in the world while avoiding eye contact at all costs, and then going to the machine, neatly tucked in the corner farthest from any other life form. Cranked out a solid four reps, and bam! Jacked, baby. Time to go home. But yeah, I get it. Stepping foot in the gym for the first time is some tough stuff. It can even be tough on the second, third, fourth, or even few months down the line. But with the right approach, right mindset, and right information, you might adjust to it much quicker than you think. For all of us getting ready to move forward with our little health and fitness journey, be it you watching this year of 2022, 23, 24, or even 2030, if YouTube makes it that far, let's get started by diving into a few things to know before setting foot in a gym. First things first, on the first time you step into a gym, keep in mind that everyone is very much just like you. I get it, on the first day, we all get worried about being judged, getting embarrassed, or ripping our shorts right down the middle on the squat. What I'm trying to say is that your thoughts of being judged is completely understandable. But if we come into the gym acknowledging that in all likelihood, people are much too worried about their own booties to really worry about or judge yours, then that can set you a bit at ease. In the end, we're all trying to improve ourselves and do the right things. Even that dude spending four hours crawling in the squat rack is probably too busy looking at himself in the mirror to bother passing any judgment towards you. So when you step into the gym for the first time, know that we've all been there. People are more likely to leave you alone and things will get better. The next thing up and a bit more technical in terms of exercise, don't be afraid to use the machines and free weights. A common misconception is that free weights like barbells and dumbbells are used only once you're a super pro with the machines. That's just silly. Sure, machines are considered simpler with fixed movement patterns than printed instructions. However, that fixed movement pattern can also be a crux since not everyone moves in the same fixed manner. The freedom of free weights then become much more effective. One of the clearest examples is the deadlift in a Smith machine versus a barbell. Because of the fixed travel angle on the Smith machine, the movement will feel off and unnatural for many, causing an unnecessarily difficult and less effective lift compared to the barbell deadlift. Not good. It does take some practice to perform the deadlift correctly though, but in my opinion, it's best to use the right equipment right off the bat. Just don't go super duper crazy heavy on your first attempt. To be clear, machines still have its place too and shouldn't be ignored. In the end, to do the job right, you Use the right tools. If you need some help on picking these tools or to learn proper technique, please feel free to join the PictureFit Discord community. Many people there are more than happy to walk you through each step of the way. I'm in there from time to time too. Now for a little bit of gym etiquette. Make sure to always, and I mean always, re-rack your weights. I lied. If there's one thing people most certainly will judge you on, and in my opinion rightfully so, is if you're lazy but decide not to re-rack them poor weights. Look at them. Poor little tens just shoved to the side of the floor. All they want in life is to go back to see their little brother 7.5 and Bix is 12.5. Don't rob our little ten ten of that feeling. In all seriousness, just put things back where they belong. In reality, you're probably going to enter a gym where the weights aren't nearly anywhere in order because yeah, people kind of suck sometimes, but there's no need to contribute to the same suckiness. In a perfect world, people will be recording TikToks where they gently put all their weights back and then get a bunch of likes. Instead, it's just peaches. Peaches everywhere. Anyway, re rack the weights. The next step, as simple as it might sound, it still needs to be repeated. Make sure you don't forget your water. Imagine forgetting your precious super chilled water bottle and then going to a heavy squat session and after your last set, your only and last resort to rehydrate is the public water fountain. Honestly, there's probably nothing wrong with the water fountain, but it'll be nice to have your own water bottle on hand and to rehydrate as much as possible. Bring your water, folks. And to close, here's a few more rapid fire tips. Try to eat no less than an hour before going to the gym, unless you want to see how serious a super buff gym associate takes cleaning vomit with as few reps as possible. Take some time practicing an exercise with very low weights, but don't stay there for too long. You do not have to take a pre-workout as a beginner. You do not have to take protein powder before going to the gym, although make sure you get enough protein overall. I got plenty of vids on that if you want to check them out. And finally, my favorite take home point, Know that the act of going to the gym in the first place is a huge step you just accomplished. And as silly as it sounds, you should applaud yourself for doing that. Good job. Ah, that was fun. I know how exciting and scary of a time it is for you guys, so be on the lookout for even more beginner videos in the near future. If this is the first time you're watching PictureFit, you know what would be amazing content to play in your headphones while you're at the gym? That's right, 
the Hamilton soundtrack. But really, more videos to come. When you do go to the gym, please come back and share your experience with me in the comments. I'll do my best to read them all. And again, if you need more help, come find me and many awesome folks over at the PictureFit Discord community. Links to that will be in the description. Oh, and subscribe, like, and all that fun stuff. Finally, remember to always and forever get your protein and water. No, don't forget your water.